Yeah, so I and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader, and today we are going to be creating a lowdown session breakout expert advisor in a MQL5. So, in our previous lesson, I mean, yeah, kind of previous lesson that we did, we did already create these session breakouts, and this is another new something that we have advanced in a little bit. So we have this uh, kind of uh, instance whereby it analyzes between uh, midnight and uh, the lowdown session and then we place now pending orders this is where the major overhaul happens apparently like uh, we place pending orders on um, on uh, the extremums of the breakout that is uh, created for example this is what i mean uh, that was super quick though <laughs> we open a sell position. I mean, we did place a padding order of here, a sell stop padding order and a buy stop padding order after after constructing this uh, session over here. And then the session can be defined apparently by you, or uh, you can define how you want to, you know, specify the load on session, the starting time and the ending time. Then at the end, you place the stop orders over here. Apparently, we do have some some uh, restrictions to apply it then we have the take profit and the stop stop loss in this uh, instance it could be manual or uh, automated again for it is i uh, left that for you to define that uh, instance then uh, yeah so at the end of each and every day we have these uh, sessions we place them i'm trying to get something but over here you can see the comment we place both buy step uh, i mean oh come on <laughs> sell stop and buy stop orders and then whichever whenever one is activated the other one is deleted or you can as well i will show you the inputs you can as well choose to you know keep them all in that uh, instance so let me try to find some again if the stuff over here is not a is a breached or the range is not confronting or following the rules that you set it to follow in our case we, we have a minimum and maximum uh, points for a valid uh, stuff over here this was valid but was never placed because of the entry positions i mean the price was too volatile but we have that uh, um, function to restrict if this is what I mean. If, for example, it is like this, or if this data of here is a two, too small. In our case, that is 70 points. We restrict it not to open. I mean, the range could be too small or too big. So it is, in some instance, invalid. So, yeah. Let me try to... Wow, that was again quick. Eh? Over here now. I think this is perfectly good. This is what we mean. If if uh, we have that range constructed, we open a sell stop order and a buy stop order that is a print over. Yeah, both of them have the entry mm, that stop and uh, whatever. Then whenever one is activated, in our case, sell position is activated. Uh, why is one there? That shouldn't be there. Apparently, the buy stop. Oh, we choose to keep it in our instance. We have those uh, in a position. So, you can either um, choose to delete it or keep it at some uh, instance. So, in our case, I think we choose to... Uh, is it that so? Come on. Okay, there is an issue, I think, because this stop order should have been deleted. Maybe we will, uh, before giving the code, we will have to check why that order was never deleted, because it should apparently be deleted in that uh, instance. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is uh, all that we will be doing in uh, our instance. So, yeah, and then we do have these... Uh, panel over here to to calculate in our instance if we are in between the midnight range and uh, 
we are from anywhere between midnight and uh, that whichever you define to be the end of your calculation of the range then you will see something over here like uh, calculating and the prices and everything is not applicable that will be populated once the range is now found out yeah something like that so between midnight and the other one it is always calculating or waiting for us to have enough data for calculation this is now the inputs we do have the first section of a uh, lot size we do have uh, for uh, an area for you to place either by orders only self orders only or all orders in this uh, instance then we do have magic number we do have the risk to reward, to reward ratio we do have the stop loss in points we do have the offset of uh, orders in our in our case this could be like a 300 oh let me just have something like 100 it is the distance between the entry position i mean the breakout point and where you place your order like uh, you can see over here this is the difference between the breakout position and where you place your order uh, just that same case to the other one where we have the breakout where we have the breakout and then the place where we input the points like that i hope you do understand that then we do have the the option to delete the opposite orders when one is activated this by default is a true you can have it or use it first then our trailing stop feature which is which is a very important for you to maximize profits and uh, minimize losses because your price could go in your direction and then you could begin the trailing so by default we have disabled it for you to see the whole logic behind that then we do have the we do have the trailing points and the minimum points to start trailing by default 10 that uh, instance then the the load down session definition stuff over there and then we do have this uh, risk management for the maximum trades for you to open the maximum daily um, drawdown for you to stop uh, trading for that particular day uh, yeah i think that is all we are not going to be you know step by step creating the code because we have done a similar thing in um in the asian session breakout uh, expert advisor that we did do what i'm going to do is uh, showcasing you the code and then we'll provide the code in our uh, telegram channel just like you usually do of course you know yeah so uh let's open the meta editor and we can do this super quick i mean i'll be explaining just the code and some stuff so just will be like beekeeping because they are apparent and self-explanatory and you know what is the best thing we did add uh, comments for you to follow up and uh, see what we did of that kind of instance so we do have this kind of enumeration for us not to allow for us to uh, eh? <laughs> for it to allow us to open the trades either in one direction or both directions without the restriction by default it is all the trades i mean like if you were to open just the buy only you just like place all the buy stops by stop by stop by stop by stop never sell stop order so that's what i mean and then we do have the section for inputs over here and uh, yeah we have uh, in it is not the first time that we're doing this so i think it should be super quick you know yeah so we have the section for inputs over here self-explanatory apparently then we do have now the structure for storing that uh, range information because we can have uh, as many ranges as possible so this is what we i mean for storing the position never mind for storing the position okay position related to the range in that uh, instance so we store the ticket we store the opening price we store the load down range so that we don't trade that range two times more than one time apparently then the session id for the particular range and then if the trailing stop is active for that particular range in that uh, instance uh, flag boolean flag flag no true or false then we do have some global variables over here c trade obj trade is the object that we do instantiate to 
you know enable us to open the positions rodas apparently we do have uh, the one for ages over here which is self-explanatory then the panel if it is visible we do now create a uh, array to store the position information based on our structure that we did define over here and uh, yeah everything else i think is super uh, no straightforward then we do have the function over here to create the rectangle label rectangle label without any labels just the main rectangle then we do have over here another function helper function apparently to enable us add the object labels like what we did see like uh, yeah calculating that or that range status then we do have a function i mean a global variable over here for the panel prefix so to enable just easier management that uh, instance so that we can be able to delete it at the end and uh, yeah just for easy management of our panel then we have a function over here to create now the panel just uh, an easy function with all the information that we need we need the background label just one of it to create them you know the mid background that we did see over there then we have now the title, rich point, high and low prices, the buy and sell level, the combalance equity, down, hide. Yeah, all those kind of instances. Then we update, the, we have the function to update the panel whenever something happens, in this case, or whenever something is requiring uh, an update. Like, for example, when we hit the range or we are within the range, we want to have the calculating else. We want to just provide or showcase in the range points that we do have i think most of the other stuff over here are self pretty much self-explanatory maybe i can just scale it down it a bit if you want to copy the code uh, yeah yeah so yeah something like that then you have function to calculate the lot size which normalizes it into double that uh, instance then we have the functional to get the range in this uh, instance so this is how we calculate the session range just like we did with the asian session range calculation logic easy peasy then we have now function over here to add just a simple function to add the position now to the list of all the tickets or positions that we have added for easier tracking like trailing closing deleting yeah that then you have now the function over here to uh, to remove the position from the list when it is a uh, closed or trailed or deleted yeah whatever using the for loop it is not the first instance that you have done the for loop so i mean it is sim it feels like uh, repeating myself since you have already done a similar logic we just like added uh, the what do we call it the dashboard and the stop orders remember in the asian session we are just opening positions without the orders so in this case we are placing orders instead of positions so but logic same same yeah so we can just like search is asian session you know channel and it will pop up and then you can follow up because that's why we did the, the eve lifting explaining each and everything so uh, we have now the function over here to place the orders pretty much straightforward and easy and simple not to manage the positions this is the function that we use to manage the posi positions in our case is uh, positions are positions that are already open so this is why we have the trailing in that uh, instance then this is the function to check and uh, delete the opposite order when it is needed so this is what i have to check before i release up the code to to know why that particular order over there did not close yeah but apparently i think it is a, our logic is all fine i think it is market order or something i mean market closed issue or something in that instance or something i will try to track and then give the final updated code that makes sure all the pending orders are deleted either way or we can have a retry loop for trying to check if there is another pending order if in case there is a mistake and then uh, retry can have like 10 retries and then try to delete uh, if not we don't overwhelm the system just give up <laughs> maybe you can tell the user the reason as to why you didn't we were not able but i will make sure to check that then 
this is the function not to draw the sectional ridges. In our case, we use the you know the color that is over there. <laughs> yeah, red is what we use for drawing the bottom lines. Then we have the top lines. I think I mean it is self-explanatory over here. Then this is the function to check the trading conditions to ensure that we are all okay to trade like yeah, we don't like wanna check these conditions on each and every step i mean on each and every tick or on each and every bar we want to check it when it is the right time to check for the condition so after that bar is reached we then we do the analysis once i think we did explain this on the asian session uh, logic that you yeah did then this is the function to check for a new day to reset everything and then start again yeah update the daily drawdown this is the function on initialization we set the magic number we reset the position list array we create the panel then set it to be visible or you could as well uh, remove the instance for panel creation if you don't want it then on, on deinitialization we now delete all the objects with our prefix so you could either use this uh, load on panel blah 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 that is we did that code over there for simplicity or you could just like come over here at the top and call this function that we did uh, of this uh, panel prefix it is all the same for it is whichever you want to use then we have this other function on on tick which does now the heavy lifting check if it is a new day okay we get the current bar time check if it is a new day update the panel update the daily drawdown check trading conditions if session is not checked if no sessions are checked for the particular day and if not like this please sorry <laughs> yeah then we check and delete the opposite orders if the other is any in existence then we manage the positions the one for the trailing in that case then we add the untracked positions for us now to be able to track those positions in case one is left out or this where or the point whereby we add not the position to the list for tracking we can now be able to you know check and delete manage the positions and all that kind of instance and uh, that is all on object uh, at the end we want to close the function by clicking on that little uh, cancel or hide uh, button in that case this this is what i'm talking about uh, this one is what i'm talking about so we wanna when we click on that then we close that uh, panel in that uh, instance so that is the that is the logic for everything just we kept everything as simple as possible so um, that is all and uh, yeah the whole of the code is over here we can minimize this for you to maybe you know uh, get copy in case we are you don't find the code over there or we delay uh, showcasing the code i mean releasing the code onto the telegram channel or group apparently we share in either <laughs> uh, yeah Yeah, so that is the all of the code, and uh, you can use it as a base startup to maybe create something that is extra advanced and uh, other kind of stuff. So that's all. Bye bye, and uh, see you. See you later.